All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to make some steaks, Grady style. I uh, got some ingredients, and I'm uh, just going to show you how to put everything together. This is kind of your preparation work. Uh, we're going to be grilling these probably in about three hours. Um, so I've got two uh, ribeye steaks here. Um, just took them out of the package and got some olive oil, uh, salt, pepper, garlic powder, some parsley, rosemary, and some cayenne pepper. Um, first thing you want to do, get one of these brushes here. Uh, you know, they're like 99 cent, wherever, you know, Walmart. And you just want to dab it a little bit, okay? You can dab it like Cam Newton, however you want to do it, okay? And then you're just going to lightly come over. You're just going to go right over the top. Just a little bit. You just want to coat the top nice and good. You want to do that for both. <clears throat> I don't really like, you know, wiping it on the steak. I kind of like, like I said, just a nice pat, a dab on there. Just right around. Just make sure the top's good. Then after you put the oil on, what you're going to do is you're going to do some salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley, rosemary, and cayenne pepper. You're going to go through all of it. Do that both sides. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so these bad boys are seasoned up, and we are going to uh, put another top layer of foil to cover them up, put them in the fridge for about two and a half, three hours, then we'll be ready for grilling. Okay, so I'm getting ready to grill here, and I've got some apple smoking chips. Um, what you want to do is you just want to put a couple of these chips right here, and a sheet of foil um, and you're just going to fold it up and put some holes on both sides make it like a little packet and then we'll throw that on the grill uh, when it's preheating and it'll warm up and then we'll have a, a nice uh, apple hint of flavor on the steak I'll show you how that looks here in just a second so we've got our, <coughs> got our packet right here let's take the knife holes in it. One more right here. The other side. Don't catch a loose end. Perfect. Just now you gotta pack it, just fold it up holes on both sides and we'll just place it in the middle of the grill right before we're ready to preheat okay so I haven't started the grill yet as you can see I have a Weber Spirit okay 300 and uh, this is our wood chips that we made earlier just throw the packet right there in the middle the reason I really like this grill is there's no porcelain coating on the grates which means it doesn't get on your food it's just 100 percent steel so they get hot really quick uh, this grill is really nice weber is a good brand they make a high quality product and uh, the the good thing also about this grill is it's uh cooks like a, an oven like a convection oven you close this lid and the way that it's made circulates the heat all the way around so your foods are cooked evenly as opposed to you know one side maybe cooked more than the other uh, so what we'll do is go ahead and turn the nozzle on and I do everything on high to start off Okay, so I got these suckers up on high. <clears throat> you 
you'd want to get it preheated to about really between 500 and 550 before you throw the steaks on there. So um, we'll wait for it to preheat and we'll throw them on and get it started. All right, so we got our steaks. Uh, they've been out for about 25 minutes and they're at room temperature. So we're going to take them out and put them on the grill. Okay, so our grill is right at about 500 degrees. It's a little windy outside. Uh, so it's, it's kind of making it a little difficult to get it above 500. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. You always want to clean it off right before you throw any of your meats on there. Perfect. Alright, so take our steak. Put it right down there in the middle. Close it up. And how you put the steak on the grill to start off is very important, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. So we're going to have it on the grill for about uh, four to five minutes on each side, and about halfway um, between each time. Uh, we're going to slightly turn the uh, steaks, and that's going to give you your cross hatches for your grill marks. I'll show you that here in a minute as soon as we get to that point. Okay, so we're about to that point right now. It's been on for about two and a half minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take the steak and just turn it right there the other way. Right. You only wanna do that uh, after you turn them, keep them on there for maybe another minute tops because it doesn't take long for those other uh, grill marks going <coughs> perpendicular. Uh, doesn't take long for them to appear so just about another you know 45 seconds to a minute and then you're gonna flip it over okay so we're to that point I'm take it there's your cross hatches on both Get this one right out of the way here We want a whole lot of fire hitting it. So we'll probably put them on for uh, another three minutes and uh, go ahead and turn the heat off. Uh, you only want to have these bad boys on there for about nine minutes tops. Uh, you know, we like ours right around medium to medium rare. So uh, they'll cook just fine. And remember, because this cooks like a convec convection oven in a way. Uh, you have to make sure that you realize the the whole thing's cooking because you remember the first time we opened up the grill it was uh, it was cooked a little bit on top so uh, you know you do have to be aware of not overcooking it because this thing does heat up quick okay so I've had it on for about a minute I'm just gonna go ahead and turn all the burners off because it's gonna stay warm as you can see it's got up to right about 450 degrees go ahead and turn everything off and it'll continue to cook just a little bit and you gotta remember the steaks will continue to cook too once you take them off the grill so probably leave them on just another minute and then take them off all right so got our steaks here pull them off take them inside and see what they look like all right so we're gonna cut in here and see how it looks go ahead my wife's gonna make sure we've got a good temperature here and as you can see 
right about medium uh, to medium rare, just how we want it. So, excellent. So that's how you make a steak, Grady style. Hope you enjoy.